Hi, welcome to the VSCPR chart quiz review. Let's begin by going over some instructions. There are 10 questions in this quiz review. I will read the question to you, and then you'll have 10 seconds to write your answers on the answer sheet. Feel free at this time to pause the video if you need more time. During this time, you will also receive a five second warning before the answer is revealed. And that will come in the form of a disappearing smiley face. So when this smiley face starts to disappear, you only have five seconds left. After the answer is revealed, you want to correct, check and correct your answers. You may need to stop the video to make that correction, or you may want to stop it to take any notes. If you hear anything that may be useful um, for furthering your understanding when I explain the answer. All right, let's get started. Question one, what is the electron domain of a molecule with three, uh, electron domain geometry of a molecule with three electron domains? Remember, if you need more time to write down your answer, pause the video now. All right, here's the answer. Trigonal planar. Remember that the electron domain geometry describes the arrangement of all electron domains, whether they are from bonds or um, bond pairs or lone pairs. So in both of these structures, because they have three electron domains around them, they will still have the same electron domain geometry, which is trigonal planar. You need to correct your answer, or if there are anything, or if there are any notes you want to jot down on your answer sheet, be sure to do so now. Question two: What is the electron domain geometry of a molecule with four electron domains and one lone pair? If you need more time to write down your answer, please pause the video. The answer is tetrahedral. This one was a bit of a trick because for the electron domain geometry, all you should know is the number of electron domains, not the number of lone pairs. So you can actually ignore the fact that they mentioned that there's one lone pair and just focus on four electron domains. Anything with four electron domains will have a tetrahedral ge geometry, no matter how many lone pairs it has. If there's anything that you want to note down now or correct your answers, please stop the video. Moving on to question three, what is the molecular geometry or shape of a molecule with four electron domains and one lone pair? I hope you have your answer written down. Trigonal pyramidal. Now remember the molecular geometry describes the arrangement of bonds only. So with the molecular geometry, we tend to ignore the lone pairs and just focus on the bond. And once we sort of eliminate the lone pair from our view, we can see that this is a shorter trigonal pyramidal shape. Question four, what is the molecular geometry or shape of a molecule with four electron domains and, one lone, and two lone pairs? Hope you have your answer written. Angular or bent. So once again, for the molecular geometry or shape, we ignore the lone pairs and focus on just on the arrangement of the bond. So if we erase those lone pairs there, we can more clearly see the angular or bent shape. Let's move on to question five. What is the electron domain geometry of a molecule with two electron domains? Need more time to write that answer? Make sure you pause it. Linear, of course. So here you can clearly see in the structure when you have two electron domains, the electron domains will arrange themselves in a linear fashion. Remember, and that's because electron domains want to be as far apart as possible. Ready for question six? Let's go. What is the molecular geometry or shape of a molecule with two atoms? If you need more time for this, make sure you pause. The 
The answer is linear. So whenever you have two atoms, the shape of the molecule can only be linear. And that sort of makes sense, and you can see that in this example here. So the molecular geometry will always be linear when there are two atoms. The electron domain geometry, on the other hand, um, depends on the number of lone pairs around the atom. So if you, and because there are two atoms, there's no central atom, so you'll have to pick one atom to focus on to count the number of electron domains around it. For example, if we focus on this first chlorine here, we would count one, two, three, four electron domains. So around that chlorine, it's tetrahedral. Whereas if we focus on this nitrogen here, we would count one, two electron domains around it, so it will be linear. And if we focus on one of these oxygens, we would count one, two, three electron domains, so electron domain geometry will be trigonal planar. If you need more time to sort of take some notes, you can always stop the video and even rewind the video um, if necessary. Moving on to question seven. What is the electron domain geometry of a molecule of four electron domains and two lone pairs? All right, let's check our answer. The answer is tetrahedral. Hopefully you didn't fall for the, for the, the trick this time if you fell for it the first time. Remember for electron domain geometry, you ignore the number of lone pairs and just focus on the number of electron domains. Here we have four electron domains, so the answer is tetrahedral. Question eight, which of the following structures will have an angular or bent shape? A molecule with two electron domains and zero lone pairs, three electron domains and one lone pair, three electron domains and two lone pairs, four electron domains and one lone pair, or four electron domains and two lone pairs. This is select all that apply problem. Hope you have your answer or answers written. The answer is three electron domain and one lone pair and four electron domains and two lone pairs. So remember shape is the same thing as molecular geometry. And we have an example of three electron domains and one lone pair. If we ignore the lone pairs and just focus on the arrangement of the bonds, we, can, we will clearly see the angular or bent shape. Same thing with the one where we have four electron domains and two lone pairs. If we just focus on the arrangement of the bonds and ignore the lone pairs, we can clearly see the angular or bent shape. So this is just to highlight there are two cases where you will see angular bent, where you have three electron domains and one lone pair or four electron domains and two lone pairs. Two more questions. What is the molecular geometry of a molecule with three electron domains? Not enough information. This one was a bit of a trick question. So in order to figure out the molecular geometry, you need to know the number of lone pairs. Because if you have a structure with three electron domains and with zero lone pairs, its molecular geometry will be trigonal planar. However, if you had a structure with three electron domains and one lone pair, its structure will be, um, its molecular geometry will be angular or bent. So this number clearly should be one, by the way, because there's one lone pair there. Final question, what is the electron domain geometry of a molecule with four electron domains? Answer, tetrahedral. So look at all these tetrahedral structures. Remember for the electron domain geometry, it doesn't matter how many lone pairs you have. You, um, if you have four electron domains, it will always have a tetrahedral uh, electron domain geometry. All right, that's it for the quiz review. Good luck on the quiz.